by now the vines grow much longer. Welcome back to Asian Garden at Table. So, uh, the day before yesterday, we got a lot of rain at the farm. And you can see the pond is all the way filled up. And our neighbor sent us some pictures. And the water was actually halfway up the bottom board on the raised beds. We get Regina to put a couple pictures in here showing how flooded it was. But you can see now the the water is all drained away as it was intended to do. It's all run back to the pond. And then on the far end of the pond, we have uh, actually a drain there that runs out to the culvert. It takes it to a stormwater management. Let's go see what Regine's doing today. Please stop. Oh. What are you working on? What are you working on today, Nothing. bud? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing? Are you helping Mama? I'm going to help Mama take a caterpillar out from the pumpkin. You going to help Mama pop the caterpillars? You going to help her pop the worms? I'm going to eat our vegetables. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of this. You're what? They bite. They You're what? Bite. They bite. They bite? No, the caterpillars don't bite. They have mouths. They have mouths, they eat our vegetables. No. Hey Annie, what you working on? Uh try to put the vine on the twine. We have a good rain the last two days. Right now the vines grow much longer. I have to put them on the twine so they can climb up further. Are you going to help Mama put the vines on the twine? You can hold the caterpillar for me. No. No. We're going to hold the caterpillar for Mama. They bite. They don't bite. You you don't try. You don't know. That's a worm. They're worms. You want to try? No. Why? Oh, Hunter can hold the caterpillar. The rain also make the caterpillar, make more caterpillar. You know, the temperature, the moisture is right, so the caterpillar will start to pop out from the eggs. I got <laughs> Don't pop the caterpillar? Why? But they eat our vegetables. Okay, I don't pop them. What about you hold it for me? Can you hold the caterpillar for me? Okay, you want the big one or little one? One. Little one, the baby one. Okay, I give you a baby one. Okay. A baby one. I like the baby one. Mm. Ready? Very cool. It's a caterpillar. See that? Mm. This is very teeny tiny caterpillar. It's not much. It's baby. Yeah. Open your hand a little bit so I can see. Oh, you got two teeny tiny ones. They're popping the caterpillar. Maybe it doesn't look like something that nice to do, but it's much better than try to spray chemicals. You don't see nasty things when you spray the chemicals, but it will poison, kill all the bugs, good bugs, bad bugs. It's very bad for our ecosystem. In our garden, we don't use any pesticide because we want to keep our ecosystem. It's a small ecosystem in our farm. In this ecosystem, our vegetable will grow uh, healthy and we still have some bugs, mostly good bugs and some bad bugs and we will try to manually control the bad bugs. See that caterpillar, this is not a good thing. They grow very fast. They will spread out. They will eat all your vegetables overnight. And they eat a lot. They're not the good bugs. Oh, this one right here. So it's tucked into a web right there on the back side of the leaf. Just give them a little squeeze. He's done. Yeah. You control them early. You really don't have a lot to pop. So what are we growing over here, honey? This is green pumpkin. 
And now we have one start of fruit. This one already bloomed yesterday. I, I think it will grow bigger in the next a couple of days. So usually I will prune off the side vines because when there is a fruit here, we don't need to keep this side vine. It will take out the nutrients, waste the nutrients on this side vine. It will not fruit anyway. Even you may see some female flowers on this side vine, but there won't be enough nutrients and space for them to even successfully bloom. So remove it. So they have a lot of female flowers. Like here one, two, three, and have one more here. It's not necessary all of them will successfully fruit, but for green pumpkin purpose, we pick the young pumpkin, like when they're very young, like zucchini, we pick them young and they will keep fruiting. So in a few more days, this fruit will grow bigger and we can pick the young pumpkin and cook it like a zucchini and let these new pumpkin flowers get the chance to grow bigger and then we will pick them. They will keep fruiting, just like zucchini. It's like a pumpkin zucchini. Can we eat the flowers on this? Sure, you can eat flowers. So the pumpkin's grown all the way up to the top of the trellis already. Oh yeah. How long ago did we put that in? <sighs> this is pretty long because at the beginning we didn't really take care of this pumpkin, remember? And it was very dry. Recently we have a good rain, so the pumpkin plant grow much bigger. Usually this kind of pumpkin from you sowing the seed to it start to see female flowers. It's only take about one and a half months, like eight weeks. Like this me. variety really early maturing. Do we sell that pumpkin on our website? Yes, the green pumpkin. When they're very young, like zucchini. Just took the flower off. It's okay. See the belly button only heal up, so it's okay to What are we going to do about the ants that are crawling on the, the plant? We well, need to treat the ant if you don't want to see the ant. But the ant, they don't eat our vegetable. The ant following aphid. So you see ant a lot crawling on your plant, pay attention. You will find aphid. And you should control the ant. Control the aphid? In order to control the aphid, it's how to control the aphid. Yeah, it will, you control the aphid, it will reduce the end. You reduce the end, it will help to control the aphid. So they are together. Aphid and ants, they are a team. So we'll, we'll use some type of pesticide to control the ants outside the garden. Yeah. Try to control the ants where they're where they're colony. growing their colony. Their colony is not in our garden because we till our garden a lot. We do a lot of activity in our garden. Right. Uh, losing the soil is really not a, a place for them to set up their colony. They usually build their colony outside the garden. So to control the ant, you don't need to apply the chemical in your garden. But I don't know if they other organic way to control ant is hard because they move around a lot, they have a big population. They're even worse than aphid because aphid, you can find them, they don't move that much. You can control aphid easier. But ants, they're not that easy to control. Mm -hmm. It's gone.